we're going to recap the uh, heavyweight fight. Klitschko was the big winner. Well, not big winner. I mean, Chuck no surprise. Just, no surprise. Another notch on the belt. And, uh, another boring fight. Another... Another, another, another technical fight. We thought that we, there might be some sort of catch, we were uh, you know, in the beginning, and Klitschko, his his chin may come to to to, the, to haunt him and uh, to haunt him, but it did, you know, and because he the guy never got in within reach of landing a punch. He was too he's, busy. He's so slipping a, a the only guy that can beat him right now is his brother, you know, and and they'll never fight. They'll never fight. They promised him off, but I would pay, I think, money. It'd be kind of a weird thing, but. Uh, yeah, I mean the 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 challengers again that that, that are there for for Klitschko and and I mean Vladimir because Vitali is you know Vitali, but you, you're talking about David Hay. You know he had his thing. They were supposed to fight. I don't know. You know people want to see. People were excited about that fight. You've got Ariola. You've got U.S. Um, you know you've got Pavetkin who's fighting. Uh, you know here in the future and and. I, I don't know. I, I, the thing is, is, I'm not really excited. I don't think anybody I don't think is about jazz. No, about a, a European champion. No, they're just they're too defensive. They're too technical. They don't. They don't, just don't go for it. And got to, Yeah, yeah. You you're gotta right. want it. You gotta want to not just win, but you gotta want to knock the guy out when you're a heavyweight. And I think these big guys, they got they got the power, they got the reach, they got the skill, but they just don't have the desire to knock someone out. Now, when you get to like a U.S. guy. You know, Chris Ariola, he's kind of like a guy that he wants to get in there and he wants to hurt you and he wants to knock you out. He's not looking to score points. He's not looking to take you into deep waters in the ninth and 10th rounds. He's looking to put you down and put you under as soon as possible. And I think that's exciting. And I think that's why we need a U.S. heavyweight champion because uh, yeah. Europeans just or at least do some, it. Or at least some contenders, yeah. I mean, you know, and I think if you see some other Europeans out there you know, Chagaev, when you know, he was a champion, he was a you know, Pavekin, and you know, it's like, but yeah, let's bring it back home, baby. And, and you know, again, we're putting our, uh, you know, our words out on the line. I mean, right now, it's really only looking like Ariola, the HBO guy, and, and homeboy from Riverside, you know, Chambers. we're so cow. You got Eddie Chambers, who's fighting a big fight this weekend, July 4th weekend. Uh, against, against Pavetkin, he's humongous, and uh, uh, he's he's up there, and maybe not as tested as some of the Europe the other European guys, but uh, Chambers Chambers is a pro, and he's I think he's he's 27. Kevin Johnson is a guy back east uh, who you know not really exciting style, and Eddie Chambers style is really exciting either. So really, it's but they're the U.S. So but they're you, US, know, you, you got to go for them, you know. But but really, who's gonna Who's going to be the guy that comes through and, and does it? Who's the great American heavyweight hope? Because yeah. I don't know. Right now, when you, we just talked about it. Who is it? I mean, if Eddie Chambers uh, uh, knocks out uh, uh, Demi Dimitrenko. Yeah, all these names, uh, I can't even pronounce them. It's Dimitrenko. Yeah. Dimitrenko. Dimitrenko. If he knocks him out, but he's not gonna because he's that boxing style, and we don't want to see. We want to see Iron Mike back. Who's the next Iron Mike? Yeah. Let us know your opinions. Yeah. And who's the next U.S. heavyweight champ? Who do you want to see? Or is somebody gonna bulk up? That's a light heavyweight, and Chad Dawson, and and, and grab your balls and let's do it. You know, I don't yeah. know. I mean, is it? Bernard Hopkins, you know, God damn, we were talking about Bernard talking about. The he's, heavy, he's not big enough. He's not he doesn't big have enough, the punch. He's but, more of an awkward boxer. Come on, Bernard. Bernard, baby, I, I want you. We need James Tony. James Tony, <laughs> let's go. James Tony, Nutrisystem, we'll have the marketing scheme going. Uh, hey, listen, let us know what you but think. Definitely chime in and let us know who you think the next hey. U.S. contender is going to be. Who do you think has a chance? At beating Klitschko, you know the the guy right now. I think it's probably going to maybe get some attention is either Valuev or Pavetkin, and Pavetkin and Klitschko is the you know exactly. Ugh. So Pavetko and Klitschko is the the uh, you know the European. Areola. Uh, my thoughts are Areola. I'm going with Chris Areola, hometown guy yeah, from you, Southern California. Who do you want to see? Be well, I'd rather see Ariola, but I just think I it. just think that you know things in Europe go down when you've got two European champions like there is, and you know they're probably going to fight fight Povetkin in the future, and yeah, that'll be a good fight though because they're two gold medalists from from Russia, different eras. But again, 
American. This is not uh, YouTube Russia. This is YouTube America. Yeah. Right? Okay. So let us know.